when you go to see in the, in the way that I did, you know, it was open decks and all the rest of it, and you seen everything that was going on. And it, you could just get up in the morning and see the wonder of the Lord's creation in a beautiful sunset at four o'clock in the morning. There's a beacon on the shore That means we'll go to sea no more For we've burned our boats behind us on the sand I'm Jodie Walker and I'm here with Iona Keelhorn. Can you tell us a bit about yourself and your connection with Ramsay MacDonald? Well, my mother was his second daughter. And so uh, we used to come up here every August, bed in Leeds, but summer holidays were always lost in health, so we came up. Would we be able to take a look inside? Yes, come and have a look around. Yes, you're welcome. Come on. I'm Jonathan and I'm talking to Mr. Johnny Thompson. Yeah. Can you tell us about the importance of golf to the fishing community? My name is Matthew and I'm talking to Sergeant John Baxter and Sergeant John Lahuke. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the RAF base in Lossiemouth? RAF Lossiemouth was built in 1939, the 1st of May 1939, where it was actually a 15 training squadron was going to be there for training pilots and everything like that. Um, in 1946, um, World War II had obviously finished and uh, the Royal Air Force no longer needed an air base up in Morrisshire. Uh, so it was handed over to the Royal Navy who renamed it HMS Former. My name is Craig and I'm talking with the Reverend Mary. Thank you for coming to talk to us. Can you tell us why Lossiemouth is important to deaf ministry? Thank you. <laughs> 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 